the Diamondback 3D printing nozzle. Why buy a ruby when you get a diamond for the same price? Print all your abrasive filaments and never wear out a tip. What's harder than a diamond? Nothing on the planet. Hello everyone. Steven from Drone of Prey FPV here. Have a new nozzle. The Diamondback nozzle. It's a box. But for a little tiny nozzle, looks like a nice box. Don't normally do these unboxings, but there is really no videos about this nozzle on YouTube. Um, so I figured I would give everybody a show. I have not seen it myself yet. I've actually been holding on to it for a day, trying to get everything else I need to done. But yeah, here we go. Let's take a look. Precision print any filament longer life. The technology behind this is this is actually a diamond tip nozzle. Uh, why get a ruby when you can get a diamond for the same price? Uh, it's a polycrystalline diamond, so comes from a good company. Uh, they've been in the business for making tool bits for like mining industries, I think. Uh, for like 40 years, so they know what they're doing when it comes to making these polycrystalline diamonds uh, They've got the background for it, but anyway nice packaging Looks like we have uh, Just a liner here Some codes and a sticker I don't know about you, but I love stickers There we go. Nothing else in there. Nice packaging. That's what we're after. Nice little case to keep your extra nozzles in. Actually made of aluminum or something here. If that tells you anything. That's nice. They advertise a mirror finish on the tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is polished to a mirror finish. So I run the 0.4 millimeter. And there's supposed to be, I believe, a little marking on the side. Yep. A little number four there. I can't get that focus, but I can see it. The end is definitely mirror polished. It catches that light like crazy. There's supposed to be a pr proprietary design, the taper on the inside, to also help your retractions. Um, feels great. Brass construction, polycrystalline diamond in the tip. So it's a bunch of made man-made sand-like diamonds fused together at extreme pressures, like 6K bar pressures and, I don't know, two or 3,000 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But the processing for this, this is literally the hardest substance on the planet, polycrystalline diamond. And it's stronger than your single crystal diamonds, obviously, because it's not gonna be as fragile. Hence why it's gonna be better than your ruby tip nozzles. Um, nothing's going to wear it out. I don't know all the hardness scales. The only hardness scale I'm familiar with is uh, the Mohs hardness scale. I get into rock tumbling. But a diamond is a 10. It's a 10 point scale. A ruby ranks a nine. That's why they make the ruby tip for 
printing stuff with boron carbide, I believe is what it's called. Um, some guys in the mining bit industry who use this polycrystalline diamonds started a 3D printing business and said, hey, I can apply this technology to that. What a nice case. Made of aluminum. I'm impressed. Well, stay tuned. We'll get it uh, put in. I just have a little Ender 3. It's all kind of tuned up, but still stock hot end, everything like that. Uh, with that mirror polished finish, they say it's supposed to help out your prints and your layer adhesion. Um, and actually, here's something else before we go. Let me show you on their website the thermal conductivity of a polycrystalline diamond compared to copper, brass, and then even the harder tungsten carbides and steels. And look at your ruby at the bottom. Thermal expansion doesn't expand as much as the copper and the brass or as much as the ruby. There's your the hardness on the GPA scale. So a good bit harder than a ruby. When it comes to their coefficient of frictions, it's one of the lowest. Like, so as you guys can see, there's so many benefits, but I encourage you to stop by Champion X. You can buy them on Amazon. I had mine in two days. So stay tuned. We'll get it hooked up. Go from there. Thanks for watching.